hope you guys can see me do not mind the background i am in my basement today because it's raining outside and i didn't want to, i already got caught in the rain so i'm not gonna we're not gonna do that but anyway it is jazzy gray here i am back for a reading um today i'm reading i'm reading for Brittany, and this reading is a little bit different the person is a little bit different so You'll see what I mean once I announce at the end. So, if you guys want a free reading, this is the final week I'm accepting free readings. So, after this week, if you ask me this week and I film next week, you're good. You don't, you don't have to pay for anything. But if you ask me next week to, to, um, for me to do a birth chart reading for you or a life path number reading, run me the, run me the money, okay? But I'm going to do a video talking more about prices and what I'm offering and things like that. So, But again, this is the final week. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the reading. So I'm going to show your birth chart, Brittany. Wait, wrong part. Okay, here we go. So your sun. Wait, wait, wait. Don't mind my nails. Sun is Scorpio. Moon is Virgo. Mercury is Sagittarius, Venus is Capricorn, Mars is Scorpio, and your Ascendant is Cancer. And if we come over here, your masculine energy is 1, and your feminine energy is 9. So, I hope you can see me. I hope you can see me. So, let's get started. So, first we're going to talk about your sun sign. Your sun sign is who you are it is your personality okay so your son is scorpio scorpio is a feminine sign it's a water sign its quality is fixed now you have fixed mutable and cardinal i'm going to make a video of this because i'm kind of tired of tired of explaining it every reading so i'm just going to do a video just explaining it you know more in depth and then if you guys want more information you just check that video out but you have fixed, you have cardinal, and you have um, mutable. So if this is a fixed sign. Of, well, the quality is fixed. So, which just means that you're 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 pretty set in your ways, and you kind of know what you want out of life, and you know there's no you stick to a plan. Okay, there's no need to wonder what you're gonna do next because you know what you want to do, and people know what you want to do. So you're solid okay mutable signs are like the opposite of that score up oh, by the way um fixed signs are are signs with fixed quality rather the scorpio taurus leo and, Aqu and aquarius um mutable signs are whoa mutable quality signs with mutable quality is gemini virgo pisces and sagittarius and then cardinal quality signs with that quality is aries capricorn cancer and libra so, the best way I can explain fix, I mean not fix, mutable is pretty much the opposite of fix. Mutable, sign, mutable quality is like, it's easy to adapt to because fixed quality is like you can't, it's hard to adapt to things. And with mutable, it's easy to adapt um, and it's all over the place. <laughs> it's all over the place. If you have like mutable quality, you tend to be all over over all over the place i can't get my words out you tend to be all over the place and you tend to kind of switch up a lot so and cardinal just means action you put it in action so you know like you're a hard worker and you know what you you know you know what you want but you're going the extra mile you see what i'm saying so that's that's cardinal the best example i can use is to say you have a paper to write and you know you have to write three copies of the paper so you have the rough draft second draft final draft so the rough draft you don't know what you're gonna write right so you just jot down ideas and you just don't know where you're gonna go that would be mutable and then you have um the second draft where you kind of know what you want to write you know so you, you pick a topic and you stick to it um that's that would be fixed okay and then you have the final draft where you may take out things that you don't need and you may add in things that you do need and um just jazz that paper up so you can get an a that's cardinal okay so now that we got that out the way i hope that that kind of helps you but now that we got that out the way let's get back to it let's get back to your sun sign so scorpio has two rulers 
Scorpio is the only sign that has two planets that rules. And that would be Mars and Pluto. Mars is a planet of aggression and sex, while Pluto is the planet of darkness. So, that's why Scorpio gets that reputation. It's because of these two planets. Um, its polar opposite is Taurus, which people say you're supposed to marry your total, your um, total, <laughs> your polar opposite. You're supposed to marry your polar opposite. That's supposed to be your soulmate. I don't think that's true because, at least in my experience that's the only experience i can go off of my polar opposite is sagittarius and me and sagittarius is sagittarius men do not get along so that could be true maybe not but i just know for me that's not true um so scorpio scorpios have a very interesting reputation i always say scorpios are very misunderstood um you guys have the reputation that y'all are some whores and y'all like Y'all love sex too much, like y'all sex addicts, y'all crazy, this and that, y'all dark, all that. That's not the case with Scorpio, okay? Scorpio's big thing is trust. Not only trusting other people, but trusting themselves. So, I can say with you, you probably hold back a lot when it comes to certain people only because maybe you don't trust them or you don't know them and in order and in order for for you to open up you gotta trust them you gotta know them you know uh what else can i say about scorpio scorpios like i said they tend to be a little i don't want to say closed-minded because they're not but they tend to be closed-minded around people they don't know and once you know you get to know someone then you get to show your true self you know your true bubbly happy whatever however you really are around your family and stuff like that you show that you know around people that you that you that you you trust not even people that you know just people you trust okay um scorpios what can i say what else can i say about scorpios because there's so much i want to say <laughs> scorpios everything is based off everything sex they have emotional attachments so it's like scorpios are very emotional like the, 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 the whole thing with oh they have sex with everyone no they don't not saying they can't be promiscuous because i'm pretty sure they can because anyone can but it's a trust factor and it's, it's an emotional thing so like when scorpio not even just with sex just in general like any any emotional attachment that scorpio has that's it like there is no going back from that and scorpio is believing revenge so if scorpio feels like betrayed because that's a scorpio's worst fear is being betrayed you probably will be on some petty stuff on some revenge petty stuff like you probably will lie to get people fired or you probably would tell the truth and get people fired uh, <laughs> you might talk bad about someone you might if you're in a relationship and the person may cheat on you you possibly could cheat just to get some revenge and then Scorpio will be cool like oh hi let's be friends again that's why I'm like no <laughs> not saying you do that but that's that's the mind of a Scorpio okay let's go to your moon sign so moon is for a um emotions your moon is virgo virgo is a feminine sign it's earth it's mutable so your emotions are probably all over the place um its planet is mercury that's the planet of communication it's polar is pisces and what can i say about virgos virgo virgos are very humble they're very realistic um they're just great people they are sensitive people that could be a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. <laughs> so, I would say, let's see how that works with emotions. Virgos are actually pretty chill for the most part. They're very chill with their emotions. They will only attack, honestly, if, if somebody attacks them. So, you're probably someone who's like very chill, very realistic, very humble and things like that. But you probably tend to lose your cool if somebody attacks you. Or people you care about mostly you though like if somebody lies on you you're probably going to be on attack mode because especially if they're insult like if they insult your craft or something because virgos are like perfectionists so they feel offended like you know who said that erica badu keep in mind i'm i'm 
keep in mind I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Virgo. Virgo. Right there. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You attack their craft. You're on attack mode. Because you don't do that. You don't. And you attack them and say they did something they didn't do. You accuse them of something. It's over. It's a wrap. So you're probably that type of person. Maybe. You know. But Virgos are pretty chill for the most part. So you probably don't lose your cool too much. You know, you 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 just chilling, you know. So your Mercury is Sagittarius. Mercury is the planet of communication. So Sagittarius is a masculine sign. Its element is fire, so passion. Okay? It's it's also a mutable sign. Its planet is Jupiter. That's the planet of optimism. Um, it's polar opposite is Gemini. And let's see, what can I say about Sag? Sagittarius are very honest. It could be a good thing and a bad thing because sometimes they can be brutally honest and hurt people's feelings. Um, so when it comes to communication, you definitely love to communicate. You like to talk about politics. You like to talk about the world. You like to talk about philosophy. In fact, not even talk about it. You like to you probably you probably like to debate about it. A healthy debate, of course. Because one thing Sagittarius just don't like is um, pressure. It's anger. Like yes, they're passionate, but it's like they don't like they don't like to take things too serious, meaning they don't like to get angry. Um, cause Sagittarius is they have that reputation the runaway bride reputation so when things feel like they're getting too serious especially in conversation when things are getting too heated you probably will just like either try to change the subject and talk about something else or you will just run, run away from that conversation or that argument and do something else and take your anger out on something else so yeah so you probably don't like to argue as much you, you like to debate and have conversations and stuff like that but you don't like to argue so you're probably someone who doesn't like to argue you probably like you know what this conversation is too much i'm gonna go over here and do what i'm doing you stay over there and you argue with yourself so because sagittarius is they don't do that uh venus venus is capricorn venus is the planet of love so Venus is a feminine sign. It's elements Earth. It's a cardinal sign. So you put in that work. Um, its planet is Saturn, which is a planet of um, discipline. Its polar is Cancer. So Capricorns, they are different. Okay, they're different. They, they sometimes they're like discreet when it comes to love. They're very discreet. They don't like their business out on the street. When it comes to everything, they're very discreet. They don't like their business out on the street unless it's making them money. Because Capricorns are all about that shit money. So when it comes to love, um, you may have a hard time expressing that a little bit. Especially in public. You know, because what happens between us stays between us. So you probably don't tell your friends. You probably do talk to your friends about whoever you're dating at the time but you don't really give them too much detail because that's y'all business that's y'all business um you're not the one the type of person that will post on social media if you do post somebody on social media that means you really like them and the moment you break up with them you're going to delete that picture but you don't post too much you may post them but you may not post too much so you're um also you know what attracts the Capricorn or Venus because Venus is also what attracts us so what attracts you is hard work goal oriented you know not necessarily money but hard work you gotta have a plan you gotta have a plan so um yeah I mean you probably could attract someone with money but you just want somebody somebody who's serious about their goals and things like that. You don't want someone to sit on their ass all day eating pizza, playing 2K. That's not what you want. So, your Mars is also Scorpio. And this works because I mentioned that um, Mars, that's one of Scorpio's plants. So, when it comes to work, again, trust your instincts. And if you have an emotional attachment to this career or job, whatever it is, you stick to it until you don't want to do it anymore. Um, 
when it comes to anger, y'all got that razor sharp tongue. And again, y'all believe in revenge, so y'all will do what y'all gotta do to make y'all feel better, okay? And when it comes to sex, we're not gonna get into Fifty Shades of Grey, stuff like that. We're not gonna get into that. Chains, all that, no. But what we are going to talk about is, like I said before, like, Scorpio has to have an emotional attachment when it comes to sex. So, and to Scorpio, that's another way of showing a person that they love that person, using sex. So, if, let's say, for example, not saying you, but let's say, for example, um, you're, you know, a Scorpio may go to someone and say, hey, let's have sex, I'm ready, you know, this and that. If that person says no... Scorpio is going to feel offended and like, wow, you don't love me because I'm giving myself to you and yet nothing. So that's Scorpio. That's Mars and Scorpio. And since you got Mars and Scorpio, you're a Scorpio. Okay. Now your ascendant is Cancer. Cancer is a feminine sign. Duality, like I said, it's feminine. What the hell am I talking about? Okay. Um, element is water. It's a cardinal quality. Um, it's it's ruled by the moon and its polar is Capricorn. Okay, and ascend it is how or rising sign, whichever one you prefer, it's the same thing. It's how we express our personality. So with it being water, you're double water. So when it with your ascendant being cancer, you are a caring person you're compassionate you're loyal you don't really like to fight that much you like to keep it peaceful don't get me wrong you probably will if you had to if it came down to your family or yourself you probably will but you're not someone who likes to fight a lot you're someone who likes to keep it peaceful and you know and you don't like to sometimes you can be you know with cancers they can be a bit manipulative but they mean well they mean well so but yeah, that's that's your war. That's that's your, that's you. You know, cancers are sensitive and they love family. They're family oriented. So your masculine is one, and your feminine feminine is nine. Okay. Now masculine energy just means physical energy, and men, feminine energy means mental and emotional. So this probably tells this tells me right now that you're not an active person, meaning you don't like to do physical activities. If you work a job that requires you to be physical. You hate that job and you want something different. You'd rather sit down and maybe you're into the arts. Maybe you're into, you know, you're motherly, you're caring, you're loving and all this other type of stuff. Not that if you have masculine energy, you are not. But you're probably into like reading and things like that. You just don't like to be physical. The goal is you want to have both of these balanced. So you want, there's 10 total points. So you want 5-5, five, five, okay? So this doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean this has to be you, but you just need to know. Okay, but anyway, like I was saying, also I wanted to add two before I get on to what I was about to say. Um, you're probably when it comes to your anger, you're probably more passive or passive aggressive than you are aggressive aggressive. Okay, so the point is you want to have everything balanced. You want to know when to be a assertive or aggressive and you want to know when to be passive it's okay this is this, this is not a bad thing it's just that now you know what you need to work on so you can be balanced as a person you know your emotions your 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 life all that so that's your birth chart and you're probably wondering who is this person that i'm reading for it's my sister hi <laughs> Um, but anyway, I will see you guys later if you guys want a birth chart reading. This is the final week that it is free. I will have details on prices coming really soon. I might, I may even film a video talking about it. So, yeah. That's it. So, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Make sure you subscribe and like the video, by the way. Thank you. We try to get to 100 subscribers. I can't talk. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers. So, I really appreciate it if you guys help me get there. So, thank you. Bye.